safety and security, two things that were very obvious at Progress Energy's Harris Nuclear Power Plant. It took a background check, layers of security at the facility, and even an armed guard escort for the entire tour to get us into a place they call the protected area. We're now inside the gates at the Harris Nuclear Plant. Behind me, you see the cooling tower, probably the most recognizable structure here on site. But we're about ready to go inside to see the control room and the containment room where they keep the spent fuel, a place very few cameras have ever been. Our first stop was the control room, something that rivals NASA's mission control. But NASA doesn't sit behind six feet of concrete. It's staffed by five operators 24 hours a day. They monitor every system on site and hope they never have to turn the reactor trip switch, a switch that is capable of shutting down the nuclear reactor in less than two seconds. From there, it was on to the nuclear core, a place we couldn't go. It's protected by a giant airlock, four feet of concrete and one inch of steel. We then moved on to six more feet of steel and concrete and our next stop. Well, here we are in the spent fuel containment building. Behind me, four separate pools holding the spent fuel rods from the last 25 years. That water is about 100 degrees, and there's about 23 feet of water between me and the spent fuel rods, and that amount of water keeps my radiation exposure near zero. But it's potentially disastrous radiation exposure at Japan's Fukushima plant that has brought the nuclear industry into the spotlight. And for much of the U.S. last month, it was tornadoes in the spotlight. So after our tour, we asked the plant vice president about the tornado outbreak and what they were doing. We were prepared for that tornado to come right across the site. If we would have had to, we would have shut the plant down. If we'd have had to run our emergency diesels, those were certainly available. The highest wind we saw on site was in a neighborhood of a gust of 50 miles per hour.